Good morning. So, uh, carrying on with um, Snippy Pixie next development this morning in my little one hour or just short session I can do. Let's see what we can do. Right, so uh, on my last one, I added a dbus function for adding a snippet um, to the daemon. Um, so, and then I think I left myself some to-dos. See, where's the to do's? Okay. Um, so what have we got here? To do return service with dbus com property. Right, okay, that's correct. Yeah, okay. Uh, so what I realized was um, I needed the service to be um, the thing that holds config, database connection, um, uh, snippet manager, and anything else. Um, so that each of the individual functions can access them. So yeah, so here we have daemon dbus. Yeah, we we'll want here Um, yeah, we've had snippets. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, so we've added all the bits right here. Um, and we've done the test for that. Uh, setting things up. But the actual main daemon itself is not using it yet in that way, properly on the run. So we should probably do that. Um, and ideally, we should switch things up so that the dbus connection is just one property. So let's quickly do that before we move on to actually hooking up the CLI. Um, so yeah, uh, let's think, what do I need to do? What's, that's a dbus.con. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'll stick that there, I think. Um, I'll call it DeepBuzzCon. And it's a pointer to a DBus. Oops. DBus dot com. And then new DBus con is actually going to be. New service that's correct. Starts a deeper service with goop and config. I 
that's fine. Um, so we've got a connection here. We're creating a service here. Make a little, like a little bit of space there. Um, and then oh, we need to return that. I'm turning a service now. So ding, 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 do the thing. Right, so now the new service, it connects to the DBus, connect, does the connection, does the thing, exports the service that we've just created uh, to the DBus path, um, what is it called? It's the path and object, yeah, and that object. Make sure there's no errors. Um, make sure the name is all right. So it's still up. Does a little log that we'll probably get rid of at some point. And then does the thing. Turn in the service. And then in here, we need to rename this. To serve. That do yes that's fine uh return service with d bus com property set that's correct. And then pass him the bus to that. So we get a new service. It's got a DBus connection on it. We need that to close when uh, when the run function finishes out. So we set pass that in to a defer function, uh, which basically validates that that's okay, um, and it's going to close it there at some point without worry. We're not going to trap any errors. It does the do or it doesn't. Um, now. We want to open the database connection and store in service. Um, and then we want to get the 
snippet manager we do that that's fine snippet manager is a quick and easy one he says so as for the test Yeah, so we're doing that. But, oh, yeah, yeah, we need a database. <laughs> okay, so we do need to do the database first. This will be fun. Um, so this is where we need to actually start interacting with the the users' settings, setup, and stuff. So. got that now we don't want that to be in memory we need to get it from db path okay that's what we're going to be using The default DB path from there, okay. Um, so let's move this down just for fun here. Now that we're doing database stuff, so trying to think one of the problems here is it's not not perfect here when you've got dot slash and stuff like that I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show you what, <clears throat> what I mean. Just turn that out for a second. We're just going to get this log message basically in a second. So if I save that, um, I'll better just double check that everything's okay here. Yeah, we're not testing the new service at all yet. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> the demon here. Um, Didn't mean to do that, did I? No. Really, really, really need to make <laughs> make for right. Uh, so if I do that now, as is database path, relative path is dot slash snippet pixie d and then dot slash snippet pixie d dot db um, which I don't want um, what we need is a nice clean 
snippet pick C D slash snippet pick C D B. In fact, let's see what the XDG thing does. XDG data home. XDG data um, path. Let's see what that bit is going to do. Yeah, homey and local share. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to obviously concatenate these together, but we don't really want those dots in there and stuff. So... I wonder if there's a quick and dirty way of doing that. Obviously by quick and dirty I mean like efficient and easy. And robust. Um, so... There's probably, I suspect, there's probably some file stuff. Um, stand lip. No, that's not what I want, is it? Let's just do this quick. Hey. No, I'm going to play a look for file. Well, that's annoying. I used to have a shortcut for Gint. Ah, oh, here we go. That's what I want. <laughs> STD, right, okay. Hmm. Um, right, what have we got? Path. There's no file. Such so let's have a look at path. Let's expand that. See what oh file path. Okay, so it might end up in there. Alright, package path implements utility routines for manipulating slash separated paths. The path package should only be used for paths separated by forward slashes. Blah blah blah. This package does not deal with Windows paths with drive letters or backslashes. To manipulate and create its paths, you use the path file path package. Okay. Just have a quick check of this though. Uh, because it might give me some information there. So, uh, let's look at the index. Join. Join joins any number of path elements into a single path, separating them with slashes. Empty elements are ignored, the result is cleaned. However, the argument list is empty, all those elements are empty, join returns an empty string. Right, so what's this one? A, B, X, Y, Z. Okay. That's good. All right, let's look at path. Mm 
you can't. Okay, so this is probably the safer version to use. Um, and I presume just use in join. Oh, what's that? Rail returns a relative path that is lexically equivalent to target path and join to base path and then intervene in separator. That is join rail bar bar. Okay. That's quite handy. But I think I think join is probably all I need. Joins in on the bars that is it's in the blood of diddle everything I said no results cleaned. I said blah blah blah. Okay. I don't really care about Windows and stuff. This is a Linux only app. Um don't think there's anything so far that actually limit it, limits it to Linux, but that's all I'm targeting. So uh let's see. Draw path join this with this. And you can do multiple. It's got a spread there, so while it's only showing. No, oh, it's doing three there. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so for X, Y, Z, yeah, okay. Well, let's see. Let's try it. Uh, so we want Path, file, path, so I want file, path, join, and I'm, that'll probably auto do its thing. Um, just quickly check what we're going to get. So, D file oh, do the whole lot there's no there's no errors or anything here is it it's just a string yeah so db is equal to file path join xdg Add data home and for safety, I should probably only deal with service from then on. Service conf db path I'll just quickly lock that and see what happens See, nice clean path. Cool. Right, so let's do that then, so we don't need that anymore. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Ah. 
believe I can do this. So if uh, it's not equal to nil, return error. Otherwise, Otherwise, we can serve dot db is equal to db. Actually, don't even need to do that, do we? Serve dot db and then Uh, we need to close it at some point. So, serve.db dot close to that. Oops. Actually, I didn't want to do that. I just want to do, there we go, defer func db blah 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 db close when we leave, good, so that's the database bit done. Let's give that a quick go, so, um, Right, so there's no snippet stuff there at all yet. Hopefully, no, that's not hidden by my face, hopefully. Uh, let's build this and test. Oh. I didn't do anything, did it? Okay, dbus test. Do I have that in there? So that's all, everything there. Rebuild. Try again. It's doing something. Uh, but we don't have. A database. Okay, better log that then. We'll see what's what. So So 
the daemon. I just did a loggy thing, didn't I? Oh. It's a different thing. There's a log. Okay. Let's do what was a print line. Guess not. They're using that one then. Just a print line. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, hold on. On my CLI. Did I use a format print line? out of course am I using that here I am that's better let's do that Opened database. At and then I guess this DB file should do. Why is this complaining? What did I do wrong there? Oh, I'm having a bad day today.
Oh yeah, I don't need to do that. That's why. It just concatenates all the bits, doesn't it? With the space. So that's why. Uh, yeah. I am new to go, by the way. So, uh, right. So, in theory, that should print out where it thinks it's opened it. Open database at home, medium, local, share, snippet, cdb. But it hasn't. Well, it's not created anyway. So do I need to create a file structure? It's not going to automatically do it. I guess that's the deal. Let's double check because it would be nice if it kind of said, Oh, yeah, I'll just create that for you. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Actually, what I should probably do is look at the drive docs. It's an example there. I'll just check that in a minute. But... So I need to maybe prefix with, um, well, but we'll just check. So simple, no, don't need to. Right, but what about Nothing else there, so maybe I just need to create the fold structure first. And let's have a look. So I can use that. And then in theory, actually I think it's probably going to be OS.
because you need to specify the name and permission bits, blah, blah, blah. If there's an error, it will be typed off. It will create to, along with any necessary parents and returns nil or else returns an error. The permission bits must be I used folder there. Okay. What I want is to get well I wonder if um, wonder if XDG tell, can tell me Oh, hold on, let's check which version I'm using. ADRG. Can it tell me? Permissions. Why is that not showing me what I want to show me?
Oh, okay. I should use that. So, no, for starters, right, so I'm using the wrong, wrong thing. Don't need to do the join stuff. I've got a relative path here. So, instead, in theory, what I can do... So that should give me um, a usable data path. What I really want is for open to just create it if it doesn't exist. Hmm. Let's actually look at this again. Hmm. So maybe I do need to maybe I just need to actually write something to it. I'm just surprised it's not mentioning having to create everything.
Okay. Why is that not taking me to standard? Eesh. Okay. Hmm? okay. Let's find running out of time. Uh, why am I... I must be... Something going on here. I lost the will to, not the will, I lost the will to live. Uh, all right, I'm kind of getting lost here. Um, I need to finish up. I think I need to work out. I'm wondering whether this open should actually just do the do, uh, because I'd rather not start building directories and things like that. Um, so I need to do a little bit of research to see what's going on there. Maybe maybe because I haven't written anything to the database it's not It's not having to write, do anything. It's not having to create it yet. Um, but I need to work out whether the open on its own should create the database file. Um, or whether I need to go and use 
make dire on or whatever it was. Where did that go? Why have I lost everything? I'm confused. Hmm. So I quickly check something. I'll finish up. And that's going to help. We'll see. I'll have to do a little bit of research on that. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. So, yeah. So uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Um, you take care.